Oh hey, it's another day for thrifting. Because what else are we going to do? We're not really good for anything else. This Goodwill is way up on the northwest side of Phoenix. I mean, we're far from home. We're like an hour's drive from home. So since we're up here, we better hit a few thrift stores, stick around. I have a really good feeling about today. Not a good sign, not a good sign. Bunch of nonsense. Oh, PC Baja 1000. All right, no video games. Let's go look at the toys. The toy racks look a little bare, but I'm telling you, this bag wall looks good. Duck mirror. Hmm. Oh, hey. Hi. Go ahead, find your bright stalls. How are you today? I'm all right. I'm uh, not finding anything yet. Did you find me any bright stalls? No. Oh. I'm not very good at finding them like you, though. What good are you? All right, well, 349 is not bad for this. I'm a little bit bummed about the rubber being gone there, but $3 is not, not bad for that. So I've been kind of in the like home decor mindset lately. I kind of want to do some uh, changes to our house, to our workshop area, and I just kind of want to add a few pieces I've been thinking about getting for a while anyway. So I'm in the lamp section because I really want to find a milk glass lamp, like an old vintage style, kind of like this, but milk glass with like the um, little polka dot print on it. This is kind of cute. I mean, not at all what I was saying I wanted because this isn't vintage or milk glass. It's still cute though. It's probably from Target. Something small that would go really well on like an end table or something. Oh, little hurricane lamp. Actually, I think I saw its head over in the candle section. It's a bunch of people over there right now, but I might Reunite them. Let's try it. It might be a little too big. Maybe? Hello, happy family. We reunited them. You gonna get them? No, I don't need that. Well. Especially not for uh, now six plus five. $11, 12 dollars. Well, at least you did your good deed today. I did. They're a happy family again. This is my least favorite thing ever. I find exactly what I need, which is a pair of white Levi's. They're actually vintage. They're beautiful. Great shape. They're a good size. But they are $13. I mean, like, I don't want to spend more than $5 on a pair of jeans especially for the profit margin, but also especially for color blocking because I have to buy two pair of jeans to make one order. <sighs> 13 is a lot to drop. It is, it is special because they are vintage and they are in really great shape, so they are worth that price for someone who wants to just buy them for themselves, but I think for me that's just too much. I can't do it. Head is inside checking out. All we got was the uh, PlayStation controller. Not a great first stop, but not terrible. $3 for a PlayStation 1 controller that's see-through. I'll take it anytime. But I came out here to talk to you guys real quick because I just want to beg you right here at the beginning of the video to hit the sub button. Now, a lot of you guys stick around to the end of our videos and I appreciate that. And it's usually after a 20, 30 minute video, I say, hey guys, why don't you hit that sub button? I try not to dirty up the middle of the videos too often with these kinds of pleas, but I want to tell you why I think it's worth it today. Why it's worth it for us to step outside the old Goodwill and have a face-to-face. -to -face. 
we're real close to 10,000 subs. And we're also really close to owning 3,000 video games, all of which were bought on this channel, almost all of them at Goodwills. And we've got a really special date planned in like two weeks where we're gonna go shoot our 3,000th video game special. It's gonna be really cool. But I'm kind of thinking it would also be cool to just do that 3,000 video game special at the same time as our 10,000 sub celebration video and just make it the biggest party ever. So if a few more of you could hit the subscribe button today and help us make that happen all at once, I promise we'll make it worth it. I promise our 10,000 sub video, 3,000 video game extravaganza will be worth it. So guys, before we head to the next Goodwill, sub, sub to this channel. Now stick around, we're moving on. You had one job, Hannah. You had one job. <laughs> this is bad wardrobe. I was trying to do something cool for the camera. She messed it up. Say drive three dollars. That's kind of wild. So my favorite thing to find, other than brat stalls at the Goodwill, are Western style two-color jeans. And I'll show you what I mean. These are amazing. Like what? They're so pretty. I found a couple pairs of these before. Um, there was one pair in particular. It was like red and black and like really bold color blocking they're stunning these are by rough rider which typically does these kind of like wild color schemes and like really fun stunning details so i'm super happy also a pair of bright blue for uh six bucks it's not bad they're really small which is nice um these um are worth that but ugh. You know your girl's not happy about that price, but we're gonna deal with it, cause these are amazing. All right, toys. Things are not looking great, but we're still looking. I don't even really care. This is actually really good. I wish it were bigger. When I picked it up, I thought, man, if this is a terabyte hard drive, that would be great. Because I use one terabyte solid state drives like this for editing these videos you watch. This is what I store footage on. I could use a second one for our other channel. So that would be nice, but 128 is not nothing. I actually have a camera device that records video footage to this exact uh, size media. So I can just use this as a spare card for that. Pretty awesome. It's just great. It's just super useful. There's a lot of color going on in this bowl wall. I just feel like there's something here that I need to look at. It's plastic. Kind of had that uh, Pyrex shape to it. Zach Designs. Interesting. Oh, here's the Pyrex. Oh, she's pretty. She's pretty cheap, too. She doesn't have a lid, but I guess it's not the end of the world. It's in such good condition. This Goodwill, for some reason, marks their, you know, bakeware stuff pretty reasonably which is a reason that this is one of my favorite goodwills some cute little bowls as well but they're individually priced so that's not worth it this is catching my eye i don't know what it is oh cute little peach pies plate 2.99 for two plates it's fair but i don't need it have you ever seen a buzz light your sword that's a first for me we're gonna do something a little bit different today and I'm gonna to talk about dishes instead of Hannah, but there's a reason. You see this milk glass here? 
My grandmother collected milk glass my whole life. She still has a pretty serious collection. I'll have to remember in one of the next times we go back to my hometown of Kentucky to show it to you guys because it's quite amazing how much milk glass she's got. But what's funny, Hannah knows a lot about dishes and she can recognize a lot more dishes in this world than I can. But just looking at every single one of these pieces, actually, they almost all look familiar to me. Like she's got these of every different size. It's kind of cool. And every time we go home, my grandmother's really into thrifting like we are. So we talk about it quite a bit. And she always asks me if we ever see any milk glass. And I always tell her, no, I don't really see a lot of it here. I'll be taking a picture of this actually. I'm gonna send it right to her. She'll be very happy to know we've finally seen a bunch of it. It's not that it doesn't show up at all, but this is, I would you say this is probably the first time a big bunch of it's ever shown up like this? Yeah, I mean, this is a substantial amount. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send Granny a picture. She'll be like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I walked right in the door. This is a card of stuff out of the back, right? This is all stuff they're about to stock on the shelves. Solid straight drive. Solid state hard drive. It's not big. It's only 120 gigabytes, but two, three bucks. That's awesome. That's awesome. And then I went and shopped and I came back and this is a new cart. This isn't the cart that was here when I came in. Do you know what this is? Are you joking? This is a Zion camera gimbal. I don't think I'm pronouncing it right, but this is, I looked it up. It's only like their second oldest model. It's not like this is a 10 year old gimbal. It's, it, it's, it's awesome. That's incredible. Yeah, I'm, I'm in disbelief, to be honest, that it's here. Uh, I don't know what to do. It could be broken. The motors could be burnt out. It could be perfectly fine, but I'm buying this. This is, we're going to have to talk a lot about this. This is crazy. I, uh, How this much is, is it? It's only eight bucks. Are you kidding? Like, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> I, I've owned a lot of camera gimbals. I used to do, we'll talk about this in a minute. Come on. We'll, some days, some weeks, thrifting is just a magical wonderland. I mean, we found so much stuff to resell. We've pretty much taken care of bills for the next three months with the last two or three days worth of thrifting. I mean, it's just been nuts. And then this crane, I mean, we can resell it. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with it right now. Just stick around at the end of this video. We'll talk about our options with it because I don't really need it but I want it and I've owned several of these and I sold my last one because I quit doing commercial work but they are fun to have so why not have one that was just $8 from the thread? I don't know. We'll talk about it. We'll, we'll decide later. Stick around. has been pretty good to me in the past so I'm taking a minute to just kind of soak it all in and see if there's anything I really want I'm not seeing anything right off the bat I mean there's definitely some corning right here but five dollars is a little too much for that one 249 is too much hmm doesn't look like a whole lot shaken there these bag toys look pretty serious. Pretty serious. Give me a little plush. Oh, there's a wizard. And what is it? You see something? Smokey the bear. Oh! Baby Snorlax. Aww. So cute. That's mine. That belongs to me. It belongs to you. This is surprising. This is the largest men's jeans section I've seen in a Goodwill in a while. Savers has really big jeans sections and Deseret does too, but Goodwill it's always just like one tiny little rack. But this has got one rack and then all of those over there as well. So let's see if we can find anything good in this. Um, based off of this look right here, probably not going to find anything great. So that's just a pair of Lucky Jeans and they want $17 for that. That's absurd. So $15 for a pair of Wranglers. You can get it at Walmart for $10. Cool. Love it. I figured we probably should get this Wii sensor bar. Uh, 
we were talking to somebody at our local buy sell trade store and they were like we're paying top dollar for we sensor bars <laughs> <laughs> for trading and stuff like that um if we don't need it we might actually have a wee bundle that needs one of these right now so either way these are a hot commodity uh bike rack so not leaving with nothing you don't find anything no nope. well we got snorlax and we sensor bar cool as i'm on the way to the women's jeans section but i always pass by the blankets because i just need to see if there's any crochet blankets that are adorable oh this is so pretty whoever did this blanket like I salute you. This is stunning. And then like the other side, it's this is a rainbow stripe because that's just how the stitching works. Bad thing is, is it's super small. Like that would just cover your like arms and part of your torso. It wouldn't cover your legs if you're laying on the, on the couch trying to watch a movie. So I don't think it's worth getting, but it's so cute. Why couldn't they just made it like three feet longer? Right there. Here's that blanket I was just talking about. What? Someone just like donated their entire crochet blanket hoard that they've been working on. I don't know if any of them are actually speaking to me. I'm very picky about crochet blankets. That one's kind of cute. They're all like a little bit too loose. If not a criticism, I couldn't do this. This It would look horrible if I even tried. So. It still looks fine, but it's just not quite what I need. Super cute, but I don't think there's any of them here that I am gonna get. That's insane, there's so many of them. Board games and puzzles and stuff are still kind of an afterthought for me. I don't run straight into the thrift store to look at them. Uh, but on yesterday's episode, I found a Power Ranger board game for my collection. And it's kind of been in the back of my head knowing I need to check them. And it looks like it's gonna be a good thing that I did because I am not trying to find more Pez stuff to sell, but I still have like a thousand Pez in one of my antique malls. So what's a little Pez memorabilia gonna hurt? It's a Pez puzzle. Pez Zazzle. Pez Zazzle. All right. Well, Hannah's over here checking out, so we'll just give it to her. It's a Pez Zazzle. <laughs> That's what it says. Pizazzle. That's what it says. I didn't make it up. All right. Hannah and I both have something we're gonna talk about real quick before we wrap this video up. I'm gonna talk about the camera gimbal that I bought. Hannah's gonna talk about the milk glass that she bought and what she did with it. Check it out, remember this? It's a candle. You made it into a candle, very nice. I did, I'm very excited about it. Um, this is my favorite candle and I broke it. Oops. Ooh, so, how did you break it? Um, it was a candle that I left on the oven whenever I would bake cookies or something. And so then it would heat up and it'd make the house smell really good too. And I got it too close to one of the, the pots on the stove and it heated up the glass and just, so it was full up to about here, but not melted. So it I didn't get wax everywhere, but I can't use the candle anymore. It would just spill wax out. So I'll I decided. I'll tell you what's funny is that I was certain there for a second you were going to tell me I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> You could have. No, you broke my salt shaker. <laughs> oh, yeah. That makes more sense. Um, so I took the wax out of the little pot here and shaved it down into enough wax that would fill this baby up, stuck it in the oven at about 200 degrees because that's the lowest my oven goes, and just heated up the glass and the oven together and brought that um, wax chips into a nice liquid form, stuck a little candle wick in there. We're good to go. Very nice. Well, that's a very clever use of some uh, Goodwill dishes. I, I thought you were buying it for resale. Turns out you're a candle maker. All mm -hmm. right. Well, I uh, well, why don't you just take a step back real quick before I tell you what I'm doing. You can kind of see there's camera equipment all over the place. This is actually our shooting space, and we actually just got done filming for the first time in quite a while, a live show. We like to kind of put on a show and show off some of the stuff that we've thrifted in the previous week and do some fun things with said thrifted stuff. Stand up. <laughs> I need you as an example. Okay. She runs up to me and goes, no, he can't wear those. <laughs> Uh, that being said, I hope you will mark your calendars for next Sunday. Uh, later in the evening on Sundays, we're doing live shows. And, and uh, we're basically treating that live show as a week in review, right? We're going to talk about the previous week, what we learned, what we bought. And we're going to inevitably do something crazy like dismantle a Furby. 
Uh, I found myself with two of the same Furby, and one of them was broken beyond repair, so I took one apart, and we did it live, and we talked about it, so it was fun. So you can actually go back on our, our page and check that video out from yesterday. It was a little rough because it was the first time getting into it, but it's fun. It's worth watching. Uh, but I just wanted to mention that before we jump into talking about this gimbal, because I'm probably actually going to keep this gimbal to use on that show as a handheld rig so that we can actually go handheld and step out in front of our house or whatever we want to do with this rig i think that'll be pretty fun it'll be a wireless rig for the live shows um it does work but here's the problem with it it has a bad battery one of these batteries is measuring at the voltage that it should be and the other is completely dead and it's really it's really a bummer but these are not terribly expensive batteries you're looking at them you're probably gonna think these are c batteries and they are the dimensions of c batteries but normal c batteries are like i can't remember they're like larger 1.2 volts batteries or something these are 3.7 volt batteries like larger 18650 cells if you know anything about batteries these are the same voltage as those just different form factor uh but i plugged them up to the multimeter and one's bad and they're not a battery that i could run out here locally and just source so i've got some on order they're going to come in soon and i'll probably throw this thing in a video but you know uh these things are three or four hundred dollars new so i consider this basically a three or four hundred dollar fine for me not in terms of resale but for money i don't have to spend because I, I can definitely put this to use on our channel, especially when we get out in our van and go do road trips and do some traveling. That kind of rig would be nice out in the mountains. Like, I wish I had something like that when we were shooting on that last hiking trip that we did. That would be so cool to have. So, that's going to be fun. This camera up here, our top-down camera that we use for our live show to show our dismantling of the Furby. I'm going to... Uh, I'm definitely going to be putting that camera on here and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be real smooth Gonna be able to get some pretty shots, but uh, thank I, I I'm really thankful on one hand to buy something like that from the thrift that the only thing wrong was a $20 battery But then at the same time I feel kind of bummed that's that people that we kind of live I don't want to get too like philosophical here But we do live in a society where people throw stuff away <laughs> instead of fix it and this is completely fixable It's just I, I can't imagine you know who bought it and wasn't like you know what? Why don't I plug the battery up to a multimeter and make sure that's it? It's just kind of a bummer. Um, I mean, it's obviously better off for me, but uh, whoever tossed this out really didn't need to do it. They really didn't. But um, I'm going to consider this probably my best find of the month. I found a lot of cool stuff for the game room here, lots of cool Furbies and collectibles, but uh, you guys just couldn't believe how much time and energy in my life I've put into camera gear. There's a re there's an alternate dimension where we started a YouTube channel and it was camera stuff instead of what we do now. I've, I, matter of fact, I think you can scroll back pretty far on this channel and I think you'll find a couple camera related audio gear videos. I, I think you can find that on this channel because I'm at one time part of my job as well as touring around and shooting video. I would consult for some companies about equipment they might buy for their video needs and stuff. Like I was a, a, an equipment specialist. So that being said, like I've obsessed over these things and the people that manufacture them. I'm already really familiar with this brand and how they make things, you know, because I'm just so into that camera world. So super crazy find i know it's not going to interest everybody watching because you know not everybody's just a camera nerd like i am but super into this super super excited about that but you guys comment below before we get out of here let me know what your favorite thing that we found at the thrift was uh I'm, I'm still pretty excited about all those milk glasses that were at that thrift store so that's pretty cool but guys do me a huge favor before we get out of here i know i already asked you once in this video but here's this in the video ask that i'm gonna do one more time hit the subscribe button help us get to 10,000 subs we're so close i haven't looked i haven't even looked today with what we're at but we're getting really close um so help us get to 10,000 subs so we can do a big 10,000 sub celebration matter of fact i've got i've got what we need right here the cannon confetti confetti cannon that's ready for our 10,000 sub video we did that at what did we do that at 500 subs 1,000. 1,000 subs, we launched one of those. We still sweep that stuff up a year, six, seven, eight months later. Um, but I appreciate you guys. We do post daily videos on this channel, so we'd love to have you back tomorrow. Come back then and hang out with us. Uh, in the meantime, until tomorrow's video, go watch our live show from yesterday. And until tomorrow, peace out.